Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back, Brandon again. Today I wanna to take a look at a quick modification or change out that I did with my Rogue safety straps. And it's interesting because this change out that I'm gonna show you isn't anything new. I can't take credit for it. In fact, I have to give credit to Rogue. So if you guys remember a couple years ago when I first bought my Rogue Monster Light Rack, the blue rack that a lot of you miss, as do I, although we moved on to bigger and better things in a sense, uh, I initially got safety straps that came with these Clevis pins that I'm gonna show you today. The thing is, though, is right after I ordered that rack, they released their 2.0 system, which was a little bit different. It was more of kind of like a, a J cup where it's easily adjustable, where you can take the thing out just like you could in a J cup at the time. And I really wanted that, so I contacted Rogue and they were nice enough to switch it out for me. Now, when it comes to the Monster line of racks, it's a little bit different. They have this offering here where it's kind of always mounted on and the way that you adjust the straps is a little bit different. You basically just take it out and move it up or down, but the straps themselves never come out of the rack. Now, aesthetically speaking, they look great. Design quality, they're great, they're nice. They're lined with UHMW, as is all the Monster accessories, and it is a very nice looking strap. In fact, if you take a look at some of the older straps, especially my old videos, one of the things you'll notice that there was a lot more material there. The straps tended to sag a little bit, and a lot of people thought that they were too loose at the time. On these Monster line of racks, they're almost too tight in some instances, because I had a lot of comments on people when I first showed them saying, hey, I think those are a little bit too tight. And I think you guys were just used to your sloppy seconds and not these straps as they are currently. So aesthetically speaking, I have no problem with them. But functionality wise, I do think it was a bit of a downgrade to go to the newer system. I say that because one of the issues that I've been having personally is when I adjust my safety settings from, let's say, going to bench or if I'm doing pendlay rows off straps, which is one of the reasons I like straps or going up to saying spotting for my squat, which you guys know I squat really high, so of course I need those safety straps really high as well. It becomes kind of a pain in the butt to adjust these straps as is because of number one, the material is so tight, and number two, the actual safety strap mechanism is not removable that you don't have a lot of play. In fact, when you move these, I can only really adjust mine about three holes at a time on either side before I have to go to the other side and again, adjust baby a three hole swing. In this case, six holes, if you will. But I'll show you an example on the screen of what I mean or me adjusting the actual straps itself. So it kind of becomes a big pain in the butt because if you're going from a very high position to a low position, it takes more time and it's a little annoying in a sense. You could also potentially run into some issues if you have, let's say, an RM4 or even if you're using like an RM3 like I have now and you're also utilizing plate storage because let's be honest, a lot of us want to weigh our racks down without having to actually bolt it down or maybe we're just looking for a place to store our plates. The problem is if you have plate storage there, which is bolted on, if you're having that area where you're going to be using the safety straps in your bench area that falls between two plate pins, it's not gonna be able to come off because again, they're not removable and this could lead it to be in a stuck position, which means that you're either going to have to take it off with a wrench or you're not going to be able to adjust it outside of just a couple of holes there. So you're losing some, again, functionality in that sense too. You may recall from my slinger review, one of the issues I had with the slinger is the way that it mounts to the bottom cross member is the fact that the safety straps are not removable. So the band and the sheath are going to always rub against the safety strap. Now I did have a workaround where I'm actually turning the carabiner to point out, that way it kind of avoids the safety strap, but then the line of motion is more of at a diagonal than a straight or vertical line. And it's a little bit annoying in that sense where you can't remove the safety straps to get that clear path especially now that you see some of the upcoming releases that they're going to be doing with the Slinger where you can do some plate loaded pins and whatnot. I'd really like to do that, but again, the safety straps tend to get in the way. So basically at the end of the day, what I was looking to be able to do was to have a system that was similar to the first way I had it. Number one, have them actually swing out and remove easily like the J-Cups do. But in reality, although that would be my probably preferred option because that way the straps are still bolted onto that apparatus, but the apparatus itself can be removed. The problem is, is that that would require something to be fabricated, which I don't have the means to do, nor do I want to pay an extreme amount when the safety straps in general are already very expensive. So my other option was to go back to the original system, which is again, to use those Clevis pins. And luckily enough, those things are very, very cheap. In fact, I got four for a total of about $17 at Home Depot, and they have ones that are specifically specced out to work well with the Rogue rack. In fact, when I reached out to Rogue to ask them about what size pins they used to make sure that I could get the right ones, they were actually nice enough to send me a direct link to the ones at Home Depot and said, if you're gonna do it, use these ones. So I really appreciate them doing that because it saved me a little bit of work. And the nice thing is, is these things take very little time to actually install. And once they're installed, they're very easily removable. 
So what I'm gonna show you right now, hopefully, is a basically side-by-side -side comparison of how it takes me to kind of move the straps from a bottom position to a top position, which probably would never really be the case. I would never have them that low or that high, but I just wanna demonstrate over time how much time you can actually save by having them this way and how much really a pain in the butt they can be with the old system. So let's take a look at that really quick. So as you can see, using the clevis pins is a lot quicker, a lot cleaner. And if you have an instance where you have them between plate storage, you might just wanna buy one for the back end. That way you can just move that one up and down. And then the front one is always going to be mounted as is anyways. But then this way you have a lot more flexibility in where you're able to move those straps. So I think this upgrade is kind of a no brainer for anyone who's having issues, which from what I've been talking to on people on things like Instagram has been a lot because this is, seems to be a common complaint. It's a quick, easy fix that's very affordable, which is always nice and not always the case when you're talking about some of this more expensive equipment. So I'll link the exact ones I got from the Home Depot below. Again, they run about $4 each, maybe a little bit of change. This is a way to take your safety straps to the next level without breaking the bank. And again, I really prefer safety straps. I think they're a good way to go if you're looking to have this kind of system. I do have pin safeties as well, but although those might be easier to adjust in some instances, by the way, I don't think that they are, I also want to not only kind of protect my equipment that I'm using, but my barbell and overall myself. That's why cars use seatbelt and not safety pins to secure you in. So hopefully that helps you guys if you're in a similar situation or you're looking at that. If you have any questions about this setup, anything else in terms of equipment, as always, leave them in the comment section below. But in the meantime, we'll talk to you next video. And as always, which I already said, I like to say a lot of things over and over again if you haven't noticed, stay big.